Hi guys! It's Jean again. Last video, nai-share ko sa inyo kung paano mag-layout ng photobook gamit ang photobook designer sa inyong computer or sa laptop. Today, I wanna share how you can also create a photobook gamit ang inyong mga mobile phones and gagamit tayo ng application still galing to sa photobook and the catch is magsispend tayo ng less than 300 pesos para sa iyong photobook. So, if you're also interested in how to get them at a very, very affordable price, continue watching. So guys, as I've said, less than 300 pesos lang ang magagastos natin dito sa photobook na to. So, we need to use a mobile application. As of the moment, I'm using my iPad. I'm also recording the process in this iPad so I can also share it with you. So, kailangan natin ng photobook application. Go to the App Store or the Google Play Store to download the application. So, kailangan natin ng account para makapag-create ng photobook sa mobile device. So, after downloading and installing the application, just sign up and enter all the details that is required. So, after that, pwede na kayong pumunta sa photobook application. And, kailangan natin ng simple books. So, nasa ikatlong option po siya sa pinakataas. Ito ang pinaka-simple na way to get your pictures printed into a photo book using a mobile phone. Select 6 inch by 6 inch simple book. Then, press natin ang next button sa upper right hand section. So, need ni photo book ng access sa photos natin. So, on this screen, just click OK to allow photobook to access your photos. So if you notice po, meron po kayong options to import from social media like Instagram and Facebook and meron din Google Photos. Pero sa project natin ngayon, I will be using my mobile photos. So click nyo lang yung OK. So select tayo ng 21 pictures kasi yun yung number of pages needed para sa simple photobook na ito. Ang mga images na naselect ko ay yung mga digital lettering and typography na nagawa ko dahil sumali ako sa isang 30-day Bible lettering. But hanggang 21 days lang ako kasi late ako nag-start. So natapos siya at the end of April at hindi ko na natapos yung the rest of the days. Kaya naisip ko ito na lang yung gamitin i-print kasi saktong 21 picture siya. So after selecting the pictures, just click Done. So, ito na ang ating pictures. So, as you can see, each photo is placed in each page. The first picture ay magiging cover photo and pwede din kayong mag-add ng title which will be printed sa back cover. Simple book ang tawag sa photo book na to dahil as you can see, it has a very simple layout. Sa isang page, isang photo lang talaga ang malalagay natin. Tapping or editing the image is constricted sa crop, rotate, and reset lang. Pwede din nating i-update ang borders. Mas okay ang full screen. So, yun ang pipiliin ko dito. Also, pwede nating i-rearrange ang mga pages. Press and hold lang sa kada image. And pwede na natin siyang i-move. So, in just a few minutes, tapos na tayo sa ating simple book. Press next to continue to check out. Make sure na final na ang layout and just name the project. On the next page, kailangan natin pumili ng type of paper. Of course, yung pipiliin natin ay yung premium silk paper dahil no additional fees siya. Yung iba kasi may 95 pesos na additional. So, press the cart icon sa top right hand side para makapag-proceed. So, as you can see, 550 pesos ang worth ng simple book layout na ito. Pero, meron tayong option to enter a voucher. And ito yung secret kung paano natin makukuha ang photobook na ito for just less than 300 pesos. So let's proceed to our browser para makabili tayo ng murang vouchers. So on your browser, go to metrodeal.com, search niyo yung photo book. So since worth 550 pesos yung naselect natin kanina, yun din ang isi-select natin dito sa search results. Before purchasing, notice the voucher validity kasi before, nakapurchase ako ng 10 vouchers but I only used 4 of them dahil nag-expire na yung vouchers. So, press buy now and select yung 6x6 hardcover photo book na worth 20 pesos. Yes, 20 pesos lang siya, Beshi. So, 
nakamura ka ng 530 pesos. To check out, sign up or sign in sa Metro Deal. Mabilis ang sign up using FB or Google kasi wala nang needed information. Just allow Metro Deal to use your social media data. Now, select which option you want to use para makapagbayad. Gcash ang gagamitin ko and don't worry, secured naman daw ang connection. So I pressed the submit order button after. Ayan ang process sa Gcash. Need mag-log in with authentication. Mas mabilis na ngayon before I use PayPal. After confirmation, ayan na ang voucher code. Ito lang yung needed natin para makapag-check out sa photobook. Now, balik tayo sa photobook application and go to your orders page. Press mo lang yung apply voucher code and paste yung code from Metro Deal. And tada! Zero na yung order price. Amazing, di ba? Press checkout para ma-order na natin to. Sa account ko, nakaset na yung delivery and billing address. So, need nyo din i-input yan sa account nyo with photobook. Now, kailangan na nating magbayad ng shipping fees. Sa shipping, it takes around 5 to 7 business days para sa production and shipping. But since quarantine time ngayon, I doubt na darating ito in that span of time. In fact, na-receive ko na yung email ng photobook na na-ship na daw nila yung order ko. However, as per DHL's website, it will take some time and actually hindi nila alam kung kailan may deliver yung product. Payment options natin is either PayPal or GCash. I select PayPal this time kasi wala na akong balance sa GCash. But for your case, you can always select GCash. Yun na kasi yung pinaka-convenient way to pay these days. So press order now. Secured naman to. And never pa naman ako nagkaroon ng issue sa orders or sa PayPal account ko. Ayan, na-confirm na ang order and mag email na sa photo box sa status ng shipping. Also, matatrack natin ito sa orders page. That's it guys, super easy lang mag-create ng photobook using your mobile phones. So ano nga ba ang advantage ng paggamit ng mobile application compared sa desktop application? I have three reasons. First, it ay very easy to use. Second, straightforward siya. Third, since sa mobile app siya gagawin, it's very portable. And kahit saan pwede kang makapag-order as long as you have internet connection. And fourth, hard cover siya. So meaning yung cover, yung front and back cover, actually made of good quality cover. So ano nga bang disadvantage ng paggamit ng mobile application? First, hard cover lang yung options natin. Second, limited and very few options sa pag-edit and pag-layout ng pictures. Third, and ito yung pinaka-issue ko, is that 21 pictures lang ang maximum na pwede mong ma-add sa photobook. Lahat ng bagay merong advantages and disadvantages. So if you want to print your photos straightforward with less or no editing at all, then I suggest na gamitin mo yung mobile. However, if gusto nyo ng maraming options, and if gusto nyo mag-layout ng bonga and makapag-add ng several photos, more than 21 pictures, then I suggest na you edit using your desktop application or yung web browser version nila. And I will tackle that in the next video. So compare natin yung web and desktop application. So again, the most important thing today is nakapag-order tayo ng isang simple photo book no worth 270 pesos only. So that's less than 300 pesos. 20 pesos only for the voucher and 250 para sa shipping fees. Super okay na yun, especially to those who are collecting memories like me. So guys, if you like this video and if you find it helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Smash that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet and click nyo na rin yung bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos ko. Thank you guys again for watching. Take care and God bless.